Hello YouTube, hi. This is my first tutorial video on YouTube. Today I'll show you how to make an LED lighting fixture for your planted aquarium. You could also use this for your fish tank, uh, but be wary that uh, these LEDs which I used could go extremely bright and may hurt the eyes of some light sensitive fishes like goldfishes. Okay. Uh, the special thing about this tutorial is that you can make this extremely bright and extremely power efficient, energy efficient light fixture for under $15. Yes, you heard that right, $15. And if you have a spare computer PSU lying around, uh, the total cost of this fixture would come down to under $5. Four, uh, $3.5 to $4 to be precise. Uh, Commercial LED fixtures for planted aquariums can cost upwards of $150 and may not go as bright as this one. Uh, this is the kind of brightness you would need for fish tanks with providing this can provide uh, more than 3 watts per gallon. So let's get started. Here is a list of things you will need. So here we go, these are 12 volt and 10 watts LEDs and for a single module you can well imagine how, how its 10 watts is very very bright, very bright. Uh, for an aquarium you might be thinking that these type of strip LEDs would also work but, uh, but in my experience they would not, they just simply don't have the enough brightness to do that they uh, they won't work for a planted aquarium maybe for a fish aquarium it's okay but for a planted aquarium this is not right uh, so these leds i purchased them from a local radio shack uh, for 50 cents a piece mm, so the whole lot cost around 2.5 dollars yeah, the polarity is mentioned, this, LED, this LED is positive and this is negative and the back side is uh, of metal and these LEDs can run very very hot, very hot and you must attach it to a heat sink or this will degrade, uh, this will uh, degrade in just a few minutes and will self destruct in 5 minutes to 10 minutes. So you must attach it to a, an aluminium heat sink and we will come to that later. First uh, let's see how bright it can go. Here is my 12 volt supply and I am connecting, I have connected the positive lead of the supply, positive lead of the supply to the positive lead of the LED and the negative to the negative and let's turn it on to see how bright it can go oh wow it just dims out all other lights it's really really bright oh and be very careful while removing it it can go very hot very hot i'll remove it later because this it's just it, it might have reached around 70 degrees in just a few seconds so you can so you must at, you must attach it to a heat sink so let's see how much current it draws it is drawing around 1 ampere of current and so it's 12 volts and 10 watts all right here's our two feet long aluminium channel and this channel will serve us with two purposes first it will act as a heat sink for these hot leds and second it will act as a holder to be placed on top of the aquarium now i'll place these leds equidistant from each other on this channel
then I'll place a mark where these LEDs are. Now I'll just place an LED here. These screw holes. Okay. So here you go. There, these are the screw holes, and then we'll drill these screw holes. Now, once a screw hole is done. I'll put some heat sink compound over it and this helps to fill out the microscopic spaces between the two metals and make heat transfer more efficient and now it's done I'll just slip the screw in through it and attach the bolt on the other side And just like this, we'll repeat it for all the LEDs. So, I have attached all the LEDs to the channel. Make sure you have tightened the screws right or the LED die won't uh, contact right with the channel and it would overheat. And these are all fastened by screws and nuts. Alright. Now I'll just uh, now I'll just remove the excess heat sink compound from this because this heat sink compound once it gets into the water it's not healthy for aquatic life. Now look closely. This uh, negative side of the LED die. Uh, I have kept all the negative sides of the LED dies on this side. Okay. And the positive side on the top side. And now we'll use this uh, channel itself, this aluminium channel, as the common ground for all these LEDs. So I'll just bend this lid bend this lid to touch the channel but it's not enough let's see let's go to the next step now we'll solder these LEDs to the uh, this negative uh, negative lid to the ground common ground there's the aluminium channel and this is the soldering iron these things can go blisteringly hot so be very careful with that
okay so this joint is soldered so and we will repeat this for all the LEDs so all the negative leads are now soldered to the channel okay sometimes sometimes uh, soldering in the with aluminium gets really tough you have to have patience for it now we'll use this uh, yellow wire piece of wire to uh, connect all the positive leads of the led Strip of the insulation part and this copper part you have to be this uh, this is the original conductor and this uh, this will have to uh, solder it to the positive leads of each LED I'm just uh, stripping the insulation of, of these. So this part is done and now we will repeat this for all the LEDs. So this is it. I have soldered all the yellow wire to all the positive leads. Look closely. Okay. So let's see if this contraction actually works um, this channel is negative so i connect the negative pole of the battery to the channel itself and the positive pole of the battery to the yellow wire and woohoo it actually speeds out some light whoa that's some brightness Now as was the plan, I'll use this old computer PSU lying around for this job, for powering these 5 LEDs. And these 5 LEDs can take up up to 50 watts. And, and as I have shown you in this video that uh, each LED requires around uh, 1 ampere of current. So 5 LEDs will require around 5 ampere of current. So let's see if this PSU can provide it. Look at this. This is a 400 watt PSU and has 17 amperes on the 12 volt rail. So it's gonna be enough. Now here's a tricky part about these PSUs. Um, they won't uh, turn on if uh, you don't connect the green wire to the black wire look closely i have connected the green wire i have just shorted out the green wire and the black wire with this piece of wire and you have to do it otherwise the PSE won't turn on all right so let's turn on the PSU and see uh, how much uh, volt these yellow wires out of the PSU these are the positive 12 volt rail and these black wires these are the negative common ground and so 
these two wires should have 12 volts between them yep uh, so it's 11.8 volts and that's pretty decent for our job so the black wire of the PSU goes there and uh, I'll just clip it I'll just clip it to the channel the black wire to the channel and connect the yellow wire the positive part of the LEDs uh, to the yellow wire of the PSU all right so let's turn it on and check all the LEDs are grow glowing right but except this one this is growing glowing pretty uh, this this solder must have come come off loose we have to resolder it there I have resoldered it with a piece of wire and let's turn it on again oh I guess I need sunglasses now <laughs> let's put this uh, into the aquarium to see how much light it puts out in the real life We made it, uh, we made the uh, extremely bright and energy efficient uh, light fixture for a planted aquarium uh, for just under five dollars and and if I had to buy the PSU it will just cost me around fifteen dollars and any El Cheapo PSU would, would do that. So if you like this tutorial just give me a thumbs up under the video and also comment comments are always welcome if you have any queries ask in comments you can also inbox me and also subscribe to my channel and this would encourage me to do more tutorial videos like this where you will save your money and uh, and make some uh, innovative diy for your household for your fish tank uh, and many other purposes and thanks for watching